am here today with a review for you for You Again To Be Kidding Me by Chelsea Handler. I got my copy, as you can tell, from the library. I was lucky enough that the library had a copy. So of course I snatched it up as quick as I could and finished it in a day. And oh my god, guys. Oh my god, it's hilarious. So basically, You Again To Be Kidding Me starts off with um, Chelsea Handler's trip to Africa with a group of her friends. And then it also kind of dwells into other travel stories that she has, but the main focus of the book is actually when she's in Africa. And if you've ever read a Chelsea Handler book before, you know how crazy shit gets in her books. And I really want to know exactly how much of it is fictionalized. But from the pictures, she definitely hung her ass over the side of an open top Jeep and peed while on safari. Yeah. And peed a lot, actually. There is a lot, a lot of public urination. And the way that it's written, it is really funny. But personally, I don't think I could ever actually do it uh, in front of people. I mean, I've camped before, but that's, that's a little different. So You Again To Be Kidding Me really does follow the same format as a lot of Chelsea Handler's other books. You can pretty much read it chapter by chapter, and it's a little short story in and of itself. The main difference with this one is that they all, especially for the Africa part of them, really fit together nicely. So you can read a chapter, be satisfied with a chapter, but then you really do want to read the next chapter to find out what happens next when they're in Africa because they are crazy and they are drunk for most of the time and it is actually really funny. So this is definitely going to be for fans of other Chelsea Handler books and fans of her show. Now, if you aren't into the really crude and crass humor that Chelsea Handler provides, definitely not the book for you. If anything, you'd probably just be insulted by it. Um, but if you are, you know, walking on the dark side of, of the humor, this is fantastic. It's, I mean, nothing is taboo, everything is discussed, and it is always done with that humorous side of things. So even though the event that's being explained is incredibly embarrassing or, or sad or, or frustrating, it is also incredibly hilarious. I definitely wouldn't recommend this book to younger viewers. It's not so much that, okay, I mean, there is pretty, pretty heavy language in this. I mean, there are swear words and stuff and, you know, sexual acts depicted, um, not, not, you know, from the, the, the showing perspective, but from the like discussion perspective. It is essentially about a lot of girls weekends out. And if you are over a certain age, you do understand exactly what happens at those girls weekends or even girls nights. So it's like a really long, really explicit version of what you know. But yeah, younger viewers, mm, probably not for you. I mean, go for it if you are a, a more mature reader, but if your parents catch you with this book and they get really pissed off, it is so not my fault. That is totally on you, and I definitely put the disclaimer in here that you are too young, too young. So something else that people might not like about this book is Chelsea Andrew does get fairly racist at times. I mean, she is a Jewish German person, so she has the things about the Jews and the things about the Germans from the get-go, but then there's also a lot of talk about black people and, you know, other races. And while none of it is done maliciously that I can actually remember, if you're really sensitive to stuff like that, definitely not the book for you. I have a feeling when I was reading reviews online about it that a lot of people were disturbed by that. I mean, personally, I didn't have a problem with it. Um, I understand the context in which this book is, is. I mean, it is meant for humor. It's not meant to be mean. It's not meant to be malicious, but I mean, you, it's what you're gonna get. Yeah. So that is it for my review of You Again To Be Kidding Me by Chelsea Handler. If this sounds like a book that is going to be right up your alley, definitely run out and get it from your local library or your bookstore because, oh my God, I think the only way that this book could have been better for me is if it was an audiobook format read by Chelsea Handler herself because I just recently did um, Lies That Chelsea Handler Told Me in audiobook and it was 
awesome. It gives that whole other dimension to the story because you can hear the like nuances and the emotion in the voice. Yeah. So until next time, guys, happy reading and I will see you then. Bye.